Today we are here with Blender 3.4 and we are going to create a silver chain bracelet in no time and make a render on a cushion. Let's get started. Delete the default cube, delete the light, uh, go to front view, add mesh, Taurus, uh, major segments 70, minor segment 35, major radius 3, minor radius 0.75. Look at your Taurus, object, shade, smooth, and menu like this, dimensions, let's go at 6, Z at 3. Don't forget to save silver chain bracelet. Enter, enter, and be happy. Go to edit mode, front view, alt Z, alt A, C. Select the inside vertices like this. Turn on the proportional editing right there. Scale. Use a small proportional circle to make your element more hollow like this. Exit edit mode. Front view, add mesh, Taurus. Minor radius 0.3. Object, shade, smooth. Smooth. Grab it on the Y axis and move it, scale it down. Go to modifiers, add modifier, mirror based on the center. Find the correct axis, mine will be Z axis like this. Side view. Go to edit mode, Alt A, Alt Z, B. Select this side, S, Y, with the proportional editing still on. Compress your design like this. Have a look at your design. Now select everything with A, S, scale it like this and make a perfect fit right there. Exit edit mode, save and be happy. Now select your elements, copy, shift D, enter, Alt C to make it a mesh, Control J to make it one element, call this element. Save and be happy. Hide the torses right there. Front view, move it to the side on the X axis, go at minus 3.3. Shift D on the X axis, go there, go at 3.3. Now turn it X0 right there. Great. Side view, add mesh, torus. Major radius 2, minor radius 0.5. Look at your torus. Object, shade, smooth, save and be happy. Go to edit mode, remove the proportional editing, SX. Now make it touch the elements like this. Check you have some small overlap, exit edit mode, save and be happy. Now take your elements here, control J, call this the chain element like this. Go to the outliner, add new collection, call it chain. Move the element to the new collection, save and be happy. Now top view, move, move the view backwards add Bezier circle. Center it to the view radius 27. This is the size of your wrist. Go to object data resolution 50. Save and be happy. Now take your chain element. Go to modifiers. Add modifier array. Now found the correct factor to make them fit together. Let's go maybe I.7.8. I have too much overlap. Let's go up 78, 77, this is great. Now go to a higher count like this, let's go at 24. Now add modifier curve, select the busiest circle which is dead right here. Look at this, save and be happy. Now obviously find the amount of elements that fits here. All right, and let's leave this gap right here. We're going to do a T class to close this bracelet. Save and be happy. Now, top view, go to the center right there. Add mesh, Taurus. Major radius 1, minor radius 0.25. Center your Taurus like this. Go to edit mode, Alt A, Alt Z, B. Select this side here, move it 0.4. Control Y, invert the selection, move it minus 0.4 right here. Exit edit mode. Now do a shift D to copy it on the X axis like this. Rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis like this. Now if you think that your little chain is too thin, erase this one, go to modifiers, add a solidify modifier, offset 0, thickness 0 0.2, 0 0.1, whatever suits you. Here, don't forget to do a remesh to avoid inner meshes. Voxel 0 0.07, smooth shading. Now our chain is a bit thicker. Save and be happy. Shift D to make a copy on the X axis. Here, adapt the rotation to 90 degrees and do a couple of copies. Shift D once again on the X axis to the right position right here. Now select this chain element, uh, go to edit mode, front view, zoom in, Alt Z, Alt A. Come here to the side and select this vertex, do a Shift S cursor to select it. Exit edit mode. 
of the top view add mesh cylinder vertices 70 radius 1.5 depth 10 x orientation 90 object shade smooth go to modifier bevel amount 0.3 segments what suits you i'll go at one go to object data normals auto view now go to edit mode of the alt a b select the center vertices do a shift s Cursor to selected. Exit edit mode. Front view at mesh torus. Major segments 70, minor segments 35, major radius 1, minor radius 0.25. Alt Z. Set all the scales to 1.6. Top view object shade smooth. Adapt the Y position here. Go to edit mode. A select everything. Shift D click. Double the torus here. Exit edit mode. Go to modifiers. Add mirror modifier based on the cylinder here. Find the correct axis. Mine will be the Z axis like this. Save and be happy. Now select these elements. If your T is too big to fit your element, you have to scale it. Do an Alt C to make it a mesh. Control J to make it as one. Scale it like this. Adapt the size and adapt the position here. So the T will fit in your chain element as a clasp. Control S, save and be happy. Now select all the chain elements with shift, just like this. And the T clasp, do an Alt C, Control J, call this T clasp. Now we need to set the T class in position. Top view, add curve, busy curve. Go to edit mode, scale it somewhere here. Place this vertex here in the middle. Adapt the curve here. Exit edit mode. Take the T class, add modifier, curve. Select the busy curve we just did here. Now it's not working because you need to do a control A. All transforms on the class. Take the busy curve, same. Control A, all transform. Now it works, but we need to adapt. Go to edit mode on the curve. Select everything with A, segments, switch direction, like this. Now we can adapt the curve and the position of the chain and clasp. Here, find the correct distance and don't bend too much to avoid destroying your mesh. Something like this. Now, if you forgot to add a chain element, select it, then select the T clasp, do a control J and it will take its position naturally and perfectly. Now, don't forget to check the Z position of the Bezier curve. Select everything, go to global position and Z zero, like this. Fine tweak the position of the chain like this. Exit edit mode, clap in your hand, control S save and be happy. We are done with the modeling of the silver chain bracelet. From here, we're going to prepare the rendering. Rejoice and be happy. Now, let's create a small jewelry cushion for the renderer. Create a new collection, call it cushion. Now, go to add mesh cube. Center it to the view. Dimension 45. Save and be happy. Go to edit mode. Subdivide once. Alt C, Alt A. Select the corners like this. Scale them down like that. Select everything A, S, Z. Compress it like this. Now make an SX to make it wider. Now select this vertex, this vertex, that vertex, and this vertex, and do an SX. Adapt the top like that. Now take this side, take that side, SX. Adapt it like this. Now take this side, take that side, S, Y. Make the shape of the cushion somewhere here. Exit. Object shape smooth, save and be happy. Now go to add modifier, subdivision surface, go add three. Now this looks like a soap. Go to simple divisions right there. Now add modifier smooth, go add three. Name this cushion one. Make a copy, shift D, hide the original. Alt C, make this a mesh, save and be happy. Now let's go to sculpting. Zoom to your cushion in development like this. Let's go to the cloth brush make it make it size 100 strength 0.75 let's start working on our cushion like this use the elastic brush to make these corners look like a typical cushion like this compress the sides and grab the corners look at how pretty our cushion is starting to look use the shift key to smooth whenever needed keep designing your cushion like this if necessary, activate the dynamic topology right there. Let's go to detail of two. Let's go to the cloth brush and make some ripples here and there. If you want more control, go to the add brush and add some geometry here and there. Keep refining the design as needed. In the center, remove some material because that's where the bracelet is going to be set. So let's be realistic. Let's lower the center and smooth it like this to simulate the weight of the bracelet. 
don't forget to use the club brush to don't forget to work on both sides like this once you're happy with your design go to layout save and be happy don't forget to go back to shade smooth now top view take your cushion a bit to the back rotate it set it like this now take the chain element make a copy shift d do an alt c to make it a mesh grab it on the y-axis and bring it back here now rotate on the x-axis like now adapt to the cushion if the cushion is too big scale it accordingly check that you're not overlapping here scale if necessary on the z-axis now add mesh plane put it to zero size 500 like this check the orientation is flat now adapt to the position of your jewels like this Take the cushion and the other chain and move it up a bit. With this angle, the view will be nice enough. Set view, rotate it like this and adapt the position of the cushion like that. Now this is going to be our camera angle. So let's go at Alt Control 0 to set the position of the camera. Adapt the end clipping of the camera. Let's go at 25,000 like this. Now let's change the orientation. Let's go to a vertical portrait orientation. Let's go at 1080, 1920 like this. From here, adapt the position of the camera somewhere here. Save and be happy. Now we need an environment. Environment, color, environment texture open let's go to your favorite hdris i'm going to use the brown photo studio from photo heaven here we are let's go to shading and let's start working on the materials camera view render preview we need materials let's select the chain create a new material let's call it silver metallic one specular one roughness 0.05 now add image texture image here plug it to normal add vector bump plug it in the middle go to height node open your favorite scratches texture mine is this one we'll go to box mapping and cubic interpolation now check the strength at 0.05 this is pretty nice now take the t-clasp set the silver material save and be happy zoom on the t-clasp if it's not standing on the floor go to the curve edit mode g z don't forget to adapt the z position to the floor right here exit edit mode save and be happy go back to render preview now let's create a new and call it or metallic one roughness 0.3 add and search the ambient occlusion node add it right there plug it in base color distance 50 like this is nice save and be happy now select the cushion new material let's call it fabric yeah add and search the ambient occlusion node add it here to the base color right there now the cushion is going to be slight reddish pink save and be happy now go to the side out add light point light move it here to the left now let's put 8500 power use nodes strength 320 this might be too strong you'll have to adapt now the cushion is cool but we need some hair particles let's go to layout from view add mesh plane go to edit mode extrude grab extrude grab extrude grab scale it down a alt z c scale it up call this here this is way too big make it smaller like this now move it out of the view there zoom in don't forget to add some subdivision surface not too much let's go to this is nice don't forget to shade smooth let's put the material of fabric to the hair now camera view select the cushion save go to particles add a particle system now let's go to hair there now before we proceed let's go to render render as an object the object is the hair you can see the hair on the cushion this is pretty good now let's get the object rotation let's select the hair that is off screen and adapt the rotation it's not on x it's on y let's go at 90 degrees on y so the hairs are standing great now let's go to children interpolate let's go at 200 if your computer gets too slow maybe forget about creating particles otherwise display less something like this save and be happy display less and put more on the render try at 300 so your cushion is covered with hair go back to shading render preview if you dare
Now the cushion is looking pretty nice. You can keep tweaking the scale if needed. I'm going to go at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 maybe. The hairs look pretty good. Let's check the render settings. Check your light path. I'm going to go at 48 for everybody. Check the denoiser. Use the open image denoiser. It's always the best for the details. Now sample 320 is way enough. Let's make a 4K render, 200%. Let's save. Now let's select the floor. I'm going to give it a slight orange a warmer color all right now let's go to solid view copy the light shift d move it to the side here let's put one on the right here and let's put one on the left right there obviously we'll have to tweak the power the size of the lamp let's go at five now my set is complete we're ready to render solid view save and be happy f12 to render now i hope you enjoyed this tutorial a lot like subscribe take care and see you soon